Cat. Big shout out for Monster Cat making things happen. Thanks for having some music for us, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and click that active and turn that music down a bit. Alright, there we go. Cool. So let's see. We are pursuing uh, Season 2, Episode 4, Shades of Grey. This is Part 3. Let's see how far we get. <clears throat> What's he doing? He's scratching in stuff. Let's see where he goes for a few moments here. Let's see what's up. Yeah, okay. That's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> so, let's see here. We're just going to grab the, the picking tool. There we go. Come back in here. I'm going to import this in. To the shop. In the mid trees. New layer. This is most likely going to be just the same color as everything else, but I want to double check it just to make sure. Yep, pretty gray. Pretty gray. I'm just going to grab a tool here. Just grab a uh, baseline texture brush. <coughs> Same texture for go like seventy percent opacity. <coughs> do, do, do. Come over here and look at this picture. See what he's got. Ah, he's going to be building reflections out of this eventually. I'm hip to that. Do, do. way. Well, I was not very sportsmanlike. <coughs> Alright, we'll do that. And then we'll come here. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see. We're going to uh, build some bushes. Let's go down here and grab our our pretty normal bush brush. Let's layer some of this mess in here. Go into dark, and then we'll follow up with the light. the tilt here. And then we're going to use this uh, for racing. Add it in. I'm going to subtract it out. Add it in. And subtract it out. Good. I'm going to spin here. I'm going to drop down the eraser to a lower opacity, uh, like around 30%. And then come at this vertically, just break up the texture a bit, make it different from the uh, the trees. Let's reset that a little for just another moment here, just to darken that down. There you go. <coughs> Lead on, boss. Oh, okay, that's pretty thorough. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Have that mess there. So there's a color up, kick it back to 100%. Yeah, okay, we're looking good. I might actually want to take 
that tree and push it over. Photoshop's cheater. <clears throat> there are no such things as happy accidents in Photoshop. There is uh, only contentment with what I have done. Get rid of that line there. Such a nitpicker. Yeah, you know, just coming in here and peppering the peppering some erase in here just to break up the texture a little bit. That's a good place to start. <clears throat> Switch to a cloud brush. I'm gonna get rid of spacing like a pro. I'm gonna hit save with hourglass. Get a sip. <clears throat> give this a tilt here. I'm holding down the shift button to keep my line straight. and a blur Gaussian blur to soften it up a, not too much just a bit <clears throat> an hourglass take another sip and then we'll go with the motion blur that's not the tool that I seek filter blur motion blur Yeah, okay. That'll do for now. What's next? <clears throat> Excuse me. 
All right, we can do that. Come in here with a screenshot. Switch to this time around. Du, du, du. Let's uh, let's explore space with this guy. Another brush I created, <clears throat> and we'll want to use uh, for the eraser. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with that for the eraser. So I'm dusting. I'm dusting in the uh, the um, the darker color uh, that he had used to uh, for the snow, and then I'll come through with a lighter color after that. I'm dusting the top of these to make them not look round on top. There, we'll flip this over. Break that up a bit. We'll add on another layer. <clears throat> we'll switch the other color, and I actually want to use. I actually want to use that brush. Let's see how that shakes out. the right tool for this job sir cool brush though I like it uh, let's see we want to go use for dusting we're gonna use a dust in here we go there put in some put in white highlights tilt that I'm gonna actually flatten it out a bit I'm pulling I'm dragging press and then pull and then here I'm pressing and pushing up at the edges and in the mass I'm pulling and pushing down I'm clicking and pull down <clears throat> so I just lightened up that under layer a little bit so I can bring out a little bit more of the uh, the contrast and then I probably drew on the wrong layer let's try that again uh. Ooh, yeah this is that randomizer I don't want to use that one I'm gonna come in here use this one instead some of these brushes have a randomizing effect on them so they have more scatter there we go that's got more appeal I'm just gonna hit the leap there I'm just gonna redo this layer real quick Good. <clears throat> 